I'm so curious. Um, had you talked to Marvel about other things prior than Moon Knight? Like, how did you guys actually hook up? I made small Egyptian films, one Egyptian, one Palestinian, two Egyptians. And then I, my films went to big festivals, Cannes and uh, Berlin, and, I mean, Cannes and uh, Venice. And um, you have your agents looking for projects for you. I, I've been known to be Mr. No, or mostly say no to most of the projects. But uh, once they sent me this project, I was hooked. This is what I'm looking for. Okay, it's a big budget f thing. But in the same time, it's what I care about is the intimate story. The story of Mark and Steven is something fascinating. I would, I would have done it without action in it. I, I don't care. I love that. And I felt this is an extension of my movies. And if I put my formula, if I put something that is grounded, uh, the way I'm imagining I want to act, do the action, the darkness that I can bring, I can, I can add something to the table. And um, me and my wife put a pitch, 200-page pitch. My wife, Sarah Gohar, is my partner, my co-writer, my she's a producer now on the show. The moment we were done with the pitch, we looked at each other and I told her, Sarah, we're going to get that job or something is wrong in the, with the world. Because it's not just we covered everything because we covered the locations, the tone, the music, the score, the action, um, uh, what's how we, how we see Egypt, how we see every location and um, even how to develop the characters. But... Um, it's like we clicked with the project. It's not just covering stuff. It's just that we knew that we are the best people to tell that story. And in a lot of other cases, and that's why maybe I didn't apply to other jobs, I didn't feel the same thing. I, in this one, I felt that. And um, ironically enough, that pitch became the Bible for the show. And it is the show today. So one day I'm going to share that pitch and you'll be amazed. Two years later, uh, it's uh, before it. And it's... It, it's exactly the show. Some even imagery didn't, wasn't in the show. And I, we've put it in the um, uh, um, credit scenes. I know exactly what you're saying. Listen, I was going to save this to the end, but since you were so passionate about bringing this to life, I just have to ask you, um, have you talked to Marvel about doing a second season? Is doing more something you're interested in? I want to uh, uh, let you in a secret. Marvel is so secretive that what your experience is, what am I, what am, what am I experience? Uh, ironically, I know nothing. And sometimes you ask yourself, what, did I do a bad job? But I think this is the way they do it. Thank God they love the show. They keep expressing every day how much they love the show, but it's not like any other show, meaning the other show outside the Marvel universe, meaning any TV series, if it's good, you know that you're going to get a second se season. But One Division was great. And you didn't get a second, a second season. You went to something else. So what I'm sh absolutely sure of, that Moon Knight is staying, staying for a long time. In my opinion, that's, that's just a prediction. He's so interesting that I think he's going to stay. But what's going to happen next? Is he going to be a TV, another season? Is it going to be a film? Is he going to join someone else? My guess is yours. I, I've heard this from every director. Um, what, as coming in from the outside, someone who has not worked with Marvel before, I am curious, what surprised you about working with them on this series that perhaps you weren't expecting? Well, a couple of things. First of all, I never expected that someone like Kevin is, is going to be that hands-on. He is, un, like, what he's doing is almost genius. Like, I keep, I, I, I can't wrap my hand, uh, head around it. Someone who's overseeing 20 projects at the same time. And if you ask them if, about a, a word in the drafts that we keep changing almost every week, he knows what changed. This is how he is. So hand, being hands-on, which is very helpful, because if you're working with them, you have to know that those guys have the most successful run in the history of this industry ever. So they have secret, a secret sauce. And you have to, be, to have to know that you are here for a reason. You have secret sauce too. So the two of you together can bring something. But being hands-on was surprising, giving me a chance to play with something like this IP because I pushed the envelope. I, I wanted to be to, to push it. I wanted something that usually you wouldn't think that they want, which is I wanted to lo look and feel different than every other MCU or, uh, project, which eventually is the case. And today, you might say, some people keep telling me, if there's no Marvel um, logo at the beginning of episode one you wouldn't think you wouldn't necessarily know that this is a marvel show which is something i'm proud of 
And I'm, I'm proud of that we cut everything that or we deleted the idea of any crossovers and we didn't have, need crutches. We stood on, on our own and the project, missed, maybe that's the surprise. Uh, rather than a crossover that we can send on, on our own. Yeah, that, that's probably my favorite thing about the MCU is that they keep on reinventing what's possible in this universe. And it's one of the reasons I think people love it. By the way, just like someone who, who, who's watching from uh, afar every two, three years, if there's something that is slightly I'm doubtful of what the project is going to be, ah, oh, this, this is the superhero fatigue. I'm waiting for the fall. And all of a sudden, those guys know how to turn it around and, and reinvent themselves. And I think hiring someone like me is part of that. Hiring someone like Oscar, hiring someone like Ethan, names that you wouldn't associate with a project like this. But uh, I want to tell you that if you felt that this is a different project, it's, it's because of all those people, because of May, because of Ethan, because of Oscar, because of every collaborator that felt to me that is the right person, because of my Egyptian composer. You know what I mean? Like Hisham Nazi, every one of them brought something because of the Egyptian songs that my wife picked one by one. And I think it's a great intro to Egyptian culture. Did you end up with, uh, the episodes are, are longer than some of the other MCU shows. Did you end up with a lot of deleted scenes or no? It depends on the episode, but definitely there are deleted scenes, but not as much as you think, because we were, we hold the record of being one of the, not one, the, um, uh, the least amount of additional photography in the history of Mark. So, yeah. So usually there's additional photography. We have sure. the least amount of additional photography, four days. So oh, there nothing. isn't, it's nothing, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I, and I think part of it was that Marvel allowed us to do this thing when we meet every week. And sometimes before even shooting, we did it. Table reads, it was us and the writers and all the talent, Sarah Grant, the great, our great executive uh, producer. And all of us read the script and everyone chips in and everyone turn every stone. So in a way, we, we did the job that usually is done at the, at the end, which is Marvel never leaves a, sh a, a, a film bad. Even if it's not where they're going to reshoot the whole thing, they don't care. So we tried our best to help uh, from the beginning, and I think that helped a lot. Can you talk a little bit about designing the costume, Moon Knight's costume? There's two versions, obviously, but can, can you sort of talk about how you wanted it to look and feel and like that? Ironically, we started with Stephen having Mr. Knight, having Moon Knight, and Mark having Mr. Knight, ironically. But that's, that's one of the best things about taking your time and developing things. You start realizing, no, 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 this costume is for this guy. This is what works for them. And we, we realize what's the logic. The logic should be that each one of them inspires his suit. So the suit is inspired by who you are or what you love or what's your imagination of a, of a suit. And that's why Stephen who's uh, uh, completely away from the superhero world. His cool thing is when they tell him summon the suit, it's a suit. It's, a, it's, it's an almost Armani suit. So it made sense. But um, I love that he had two suits. And um, the one that we worked even more on was uh, the Moon Knight suit. And I love how different it is from everything that we saw before in any uh, uh, superhero but I think it tells a lot of a lot about the story. You can look at the suit and dissect. You can see that that crescent and his that that he pulls, and it's a, it's it's a weapon. You see how he's mummified and the cape and um, the weaponry, the weaponry, and you see the the hieroglyphs on him. It's just like a, a, a such an interesting thing. And uh, on the other hand, as a director, I was scared a lot more from uh, Mr. Knight's suit. Because a white suit like that could look so bad on camera. Yes. And it could be silly and it could be weird. But uh, ironically, the moment Oscar stepped in, we felt he, it's, it's no, it's, it's very cool. And we actually try to think of moments that we can expand it even more. On that note, I got to stop. I'm just going to say congrats. And I hope it's a huge hit for you guys. I want to thank you. And I want to tell you that even the next two episodes, I'm sure they're not going to disappoint you. They're even crazier. I want to watch, watch it one day, maybe with you. I know you're crazy enough to do that. But one day we can watch it on a big screen together. Six hours. Listen to me. I would do that in a heartbeat. I wish they, I'm sure. I, wish more of this, I wish more of the Marvel series were shown on the big screen. They're, one day, movie, I'm sure. Yeah, their movie quality, you know what I mean. It's, 
it's made like a movie. Just so you know, we, there there isn't a day that we call it a show, TV show. We call it a movie. Yeah. Anyway, we could keep talking. I can't wait to see the last two episodes. Thank you. Thank for you so time. much, brother. Thank you.